Facebook page engagement is plummeting. What that means for your business and what you can do about it on the other side of this graphic. As you may or may not know, Facebook about eight months ago announced that it would be showing less of the company or page brand posts in people's news feeds and more of the actual people who they follow in their news feeds. Uh, great news, I suppose, for Facebook users, but not so great news for businesses that use Facebook. And over the past 18 months, Buffer and BuzzSumo have done a little bit of digging into what exactly is happening to Facebook posts. Uh, for businesses, for pages. They evaluated about 20,000 brands, and here's what they found out. Over the past 18 months, page engagement has dropped by more than 50%. percent five zero percent That's pretty big. Also, they found that now images, not video, are getting the highest engagement. Images only dropped by 63%. So all of the image, video, link took humongous drops. Images suffered the least at 63%. So what are most of these 20,000 brands doing in response to this page engagement drop? Posting more, which is maybe counterintuitive or not exactly what Facebook wanted, but they saw a 24% increase in these brands posting more content. Now, interestingly enough, pages that posted less than once per day saw the highest per post engagement, but they typically were on the lowest end of engagement overall, which does make sense because if they're posting once a day and that gets five engagement versus five times a day and each one of those getting three engagements, overall you're going to have more, but on a per post basis, you're going to be better off doing the once or less than once a day. So what does that mean for you? the small business Facebook page owner. Well, first, you might want to consider re-evaluating your content creation efforts. Maybe instead of spending so much time on your social, which I hope at least you're dedicating some time to your social, but maybe that hour a week, instead you put it towards creating a new blog post, creating videos, creating photos, and also, you know, Facebook's not the only game in town. You can look to Twitter and YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram. You can look to other options and maybe now's a good time to do that. Another thing you can do is reevaluate your post frequency. If posting five times a day takes up too much of your time and effort, don't do it. Post less. See how you do. Look at the data. Collect the analytics. See if maybe posting less is your best friend and oh my God, it's doing better and you get back some time. Now this suggestion might be a little uh, unwelcomed and criticized and not liked, but here's what you can do. You can pay to play, all right? You can boost your posts, you can do more ads on Facebook. Now, I know some people are gonna poo-poo this solution, but here's the deal. The day where Facebook is this pure and great social media platform for people to collaborate and communicate, it's not anywhere we're at anymore. Facebook, if you're a business, is a content and advertising platform. And the sooner you get your mind around that, the sooner you might be with throwing a little bit of cash in to get a lot more back. Finally, don't stop. Don't stop posting on Facebook. Now, I mean, I guess if you want to go to the extreme and completely delete your Facebook page and be done with Facebook, okay. But Facebook does this all the time, right? They'll make this change, they'll stick with it for a while to appease maybe a something going on, <coughs> data breach, <coughs> uh, or uh, to appease investors or a short-term or long-term plan. But here's the deal. If a lot of businesses start to go away from Facebook, hmm, I wonder what the first thing Facebook is going to start to do. Probably allow more of those business posts back into news feeds. So this could very well swing back in the other direction. They've done it with video when they wanted to take on YouTube. They've done it with photo when they wanted to take on Instagram before acquiring Instagram. Facebook is trying to do this in an effort to bring people back to their platform. People that felt like all they were seeing were advertisements or brand posts. They're trying to tell you, oh, you're going to see more from your friends, which I don't know. Some, I don't even want that, but whatever. Some people want that, and that will bring them back. 
But I wouldn't be surprised if months from now, when a lot of the advertisers maybe start to go away and the businesses start to go away, if Facebook didn't reinstitute and start to boost a little bit more of the page engagements and the page reach. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Tricycle Creative's YouTube channel for more small business marketing tips and strategies designed to help you navigate the world of marketing.